tutorial on how to connect and set up your MSA X5000 gas detection device with the XS Connect app. This app can be accessed on either Apple or Android devices under the XS Connect or simply by searching MSA in your app search bar. The X5000 has a Bluetooth option which you may choose to utilize. When it's enabled, the Bluetooth symbol to the top left hand corner will light up. Once you have downloaded the app, you can open it and see the different devices with the Bluetooth options connected. To access the device through the app for the first time, there are several layers of security that need to be cleared and established to prevent any unauthorized users from accessing the device. Select the device you would like to connect to. You will be prompted to enter the code shown on the display. Touch either one of the easy buttons on the display to access the code. The code will show and you will need to enter the code into the app and click on Pair. While you are pairing the device, the OLED status lights on the display will begin blinking. Once you are connected, you can quickly and easily begin setting up and accessing your X5000 parameters. To begin setup, click on the menu tab in the upper left hand corner. You can access several different options including live reading, calibrate, sensor settings, instrument settings, connections, and information. For this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the Instrument Settings tab. We will start with naming the unit and setting up the tag name. This is helpful and important if you have multiple X5000s in one area of your plan. Simply enter what you would like the device to be named and tag information if applicable. Click on Save Changes to save the new name of your X5000 device. The X5000 also allows you to set your preferred default language. One of the most important and critical instrument setup parameters for your organization is the Password Access Menu option. Select the Password option and you can enable or disable the password. You can also change the password on this screen as well in case someone with access to your X5000 has recently left your organization or for any other reason. Analog outputs can be set to 3.5 milliamps, 1.25 milliamps, or a custom setting if needed. Next, we will explore the min-max average parameter. This can be set up for a user-defined interval. For example, if the interval is set to 24 and the start hour is set to 6, the min-max average value will update every 24 hours at 6 a.m. These values are driven by the date and time of the transmitter. Let's take a look at the relay setup next. Relay 1 and 2 can be set to common, discrete, and horn modes and set to common as default. In common mode, relay 1 is actuated by alarm 1 and relay 2 is actuated by alarm 2. Discrete allows for separate actions for each sensor. Relay 1 is actuated by sensor 1 alarms and relay 2 is actuated by sensor 2 alarms. Horn mode is designated to allow local acknowledgement of a relay triggered horn. Swap delay allows the user a brief window to change an XL sensor without the device going into a fault condition. Once a sensor is disconnected from the transmitter, the user will have two minutes to reconnect a sensor. If a sensor is not reconnected after the two minute window, the Ultima X5000 will enter a sensor missing fault condition. Lastly, the system test function runs through each of the instrument's LED lights to make sure that they are working properly. Once you have gone through each of these steps, your X5000 is now ready to be calibrated.